Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today Mikey and I will be crocking up Mama's old fashioned meatloaf recipe. All while having a whole lot of fun. another edition of Cook at Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. And Aunt Lou. And Aunt Lou's in the kitchen with us today. She's going to show us how she makes mamas. I mean, that is mamas. Old-fashioned meatloaf. She loves it when I call her that. What do we need to make mamas meatloaf? <laughs> we need two pounds of ground beef. And I got to look. Two cups of oats or crackers. Um, and you Once, line them. Oh. <laughs> one sleeve, one sleeve. Minus the two crackers yes. that he took earlier. And you're like, hey, how many cups are in a sleeve of crackers? Watch this, y'all. That's not, yeah, that's something. We do this, we mash it down like that. It makes him feel Oops. like big, strong man. And you do that, and all of a sudden, one sleeve of crackers minus the ones I just dumped on the counter. Yeah. And the two that Miss Ad took out of the sleeve. Da -da -da -da. Two cups. Well, wait. Two cups. He just cleaned the counter. Yes. And I'll have to clean it up again, too. <laughs> I'll clean it up later. All right. What else? Okay. Then we need two eggs. Okay. And then either a large onion or two small onions diced on up. Ta-da. Just like that? Mm-hmm. Wow. It almost fell over. Um, half teaspoon of pepper and one teaspoon of salt and a cup of ketchup. Yes, plus a little bit of ketchup. You gotta have extra top. for the top. So, in the bowl, on your meat, mix it all together, right? Yeah. Everything just goes in, in there. one thing. You washed your hands, right? I did. Yesterday or today? Last week. Oh, okay. I licked my fingers. It's completely fine. They're clean. <laughs> all right, so there are your onions in a bowl. Two eggs mm -hmm. in a bowl. One egg. A two eggs. Right there. Pour in your crackers and we can use that measuring cup for that. Yup. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. We're so smart. I will grab a spatula as soon as I wash my hands again. Yes. Oh, brand new bottle. Ba, ba, ba. This is a feat in this house. You guys love ketchup. More paper towels, Kim. <laughs> Alright, grab a spatula. Yeah, both of us, couple of ten-year-olds. Uh, Come on. <laughs> Tell me when a ketchup or a mustard bottle makes a fart sound that you don't giggle just a little bit. If you're not giggling, you're not living, y'all. <laughs> it is how it makes whenever it goes in there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Welcome to the show about immaturity and cooking in the kitchen. One cup uh, of ketchup. Save some of your ketchup there for your garnish at the end. And, and a teaspoon. Wow, we were not prepared. Either. Go ahead and start mixing this up a little bit. Okay, so we got. Fly out everywhere. Right. One teaspoon of salt. And then, yeah, we're just gonna. A quarter teaspoon of seven twists. Uh, a quarter teaspoon of seven twists. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There you go. Dun, dun, dun. I think it was a half a teaspoon. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Yes. Hey, you got some in you. Woo! <laughs> that's some good pepper right there, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Now that's about as far as I can get with my spatula. So it's a good thing I have clean hands. Because then, this is where you get your hands dirty, y'all. And and this there. is raw meat and eggs, so when you get done, no matter how good this smells, don't lick your fingers. Don't, wash it, wash don't wash do it. it. And absolutely wash your hands. And cleanse your surfaces. This is backwards. kind of a stress reliever. Nah. It's like playing with Play-Doh. Edible Play-Doh, made from cow. But yeah. I, I, don't think, I don't think that's a marketable product. No. <laughs> I don't think that's going to go high on the shelves of Walmart. <laughs> Make, I think you should have got a bigger bowl. I think so too. I was think I was underestimating the power of two pounds of cow. <laughs> but there you go. Get her all mixed up. 
make sure your onions and your crackers all get mixed together with all that meat and then my onions are potent because I'm still getting some of them in my eyes so if I look all and emotional if you have people in your house that are okay with onion flavor but not a big fan of like onion texture just chop them up real small and once they cook up you don't even notice that they're in there that's right what do you think I think you're good I am Hmm. So, do the transfer into a sprayed yeah, this is already slow grease. cooker. We have we can either our casserole do crock. A six quart or a casserole crock, but you are going to need a big one for this because this is two yeah. pounds of meat plus all the extras. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell good. I can smell the sweetness of that, um, that ketchup mm -hmm. with those onions. And you can even, when the crackers start to soak up everything, you can start to smell them. Of course, again, you know our house is low carb, so this is a treat with Lou coming up. I can smell the carbs. <laughs> you know, when we're not making dessert recipes, because uh, when we're making dessert recipes, Aunt Lou is known as the sugar princess, but when we're making these kind of uh, recipes with crackers or rice or noodles or anything Potatoes. like that, she's the carb queen. <laughs> so we're gonna have to get you a crown. I agree. Now, okay. You need to make the line down the middle. Yep. And I don't know why. I do. Except for that's the way mama did it and daggone it, that's the way you do it. When you cook hamburger, anything like that, the steam is going to rise and it makes the middle of anything you do rise up. Like oh. that really so you mush that down the middle, then when it rises up, it's level, or it should be. If anything, I'm going to do it because that's the way that mm, mama. mama did it. Yeah. All right. You're going to wash your hands. I'm going to wash my hands. And I'm going to top this with some ketchup. And you can put as little or as much as you like. Much, much please, much please. You just want the regular ketchup taste on there, don't you? All right. We have pretty good. And so this is going to just bake up on there. And I love it. More paper towels, Kim. Um, now what? Cover. Plug and it in. Plug it in, please. We're learning. We're learning. Plug it in. Always plug it in. Don't walk away until you've plugged it in. Nope. And, and turn it on. Cover and cook on low for mm -hmm. four to six hours. I was back here doing the sign language oh. of what you're looking at. Four to six hours That's on not sign low. Language for six. <laughs> I don't speak. I, I know a few things in sign language, but I'm not going to say it on this camera. Uh, Four to six hours, but we're going to come back in a snap and show you just how good it tasted. Three, two, one. And our meatloaf should be done. Let's take a look and see what we got here. Okay, that reminds me of when I was a kid. That mm -hmm. smell, you knew that smell whenever mm -hmm. mom was making meatloaf, that ketchup that cooks in with everything, and the onions, mm -hmm. and that's just the smell of it. So. Let's dig in and get this sucker taste. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it does look like maybe this end cooked a little bit more than this end. Yep, and, and, that, and that is because of our casserole. Because problem, of sure. the uneven cooking. And so what you can do if you have the same problem is you can, um, thank you, sir. You can um, rotate it halfway through is what I do with mine. Because my casserole crock does the same thing. It's uneven cooking. But I know that, so I switch it. But now, um, I will tell you right now, there is a lot of grease in the bottom of um, the crock pot. But unless you are using a super lean, like 96, 97% lean hamburger, you're going to have that. Yeah, you're going to get that. And in the so of it. don't freak out about it. I'm and an 80 20 guy myself. I don't mind the fat in the bottom. But some people aren't that way. But yes. But let's, let's give it a taste test and see. Have you had one not from a crock pot. What you think? Again, that's comfort food. Mm -hmm. in a bowl. Hey, Lou. I do anything for you. <laughs> Get it? Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Mm hmm. All right, so we're going to get out of here like a bat out of... Uh, 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 family show. Sorry. Meatloaf stuck in my head. Uh, and in my belly. Mm -hmm.
Mm. Y'all gotta make that. That is super, super good. Aunt Lou, thank you for stopping by to help us make that. Um, Mama, thank mm. you for the inspiration of making this dish. It is very, very good comfort food. Oh, by the way, mm. I have to note that with this being a Momo recipe, mm -hmm. I got a lot of, I don't know, I just throw in some of this and some of that. So I went with it and tried to figure it out, but I think I got pretty daggone close, don't you? I think you did perfect. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to eat. You can hey, you be wise. Say, hey, if you like what you see here, give us a thumbs up down below. If you are not a member of the Crock Posse, all you got to do is click the little subscribe button below and welcome to the family we call the Crock Posse. If you want to see what we do, as soon as we do it, click on the, the little bell down there. We call it the dingling. You ever heard of Chuck Berry? I don't know if Meatloaf ever met Chuck Berry, but I bet they'd do a really good, do, good duet together. Anywho, side note, become a member of the Crock Posse. And whatever you do, laugh often. Eat good food. And speak life. Bye. Bye. You should just do the whole show with that face. <laughs> We're going to make meatloaf. <laughs> Mama's meatloaf, old da. Da 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 da. da. <laughs> what in the world? Limber up. You're good. One nails. Shake it off. <laughs> If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the page.